Hello, this is Michaela Starstuff, and given the pretty good response I've gotten to my expelled review, I would like to point out a very specific example of quote mining that was done in the movie Expelled, which was pointed out to me by a friend of mine who has read Charles Darwin's The Descent of Man. The movie, in, in trying to claim that Charles Darwin and his theories support eugenics and the killing off of the unfit, they pulled a quote out, and this is how it read in the movie. This, this is from The Descent of Man. Okay. <clears throat> With savages, the weak in body or mind are soon eliminated. We civilized men, on the other hand, do our utmost to check the process of elimination. We build asylums for the imbecile, the maimed, and the sick. Thus, the weak members of civilized societies propagate their kind. No one who has attended to the breeding of domestic animals will doubt that this must be highly injurious to the race of man. Hardly anyone is so ignorant as to allow his worst animals to breed. At this point, Stein stops at the quotation, never mind that he has, he has actually picked out certain phrases in the quotation and left, the entire, left out the entire next paragraph, which is very pertinent to the idea of whether or not Darwin thought eugenics was a good idea. Now here is the full quote along with the next paragraph. With savages, the weak in body or mind are soon eliminated, and those that survive commonly exhibit a vigorous state of health. We civilized men, on the other hand, do our utmost to check the process of elimination. We build asylums for the imbecile, the maimed, and the sick. We institute poor laws, and our medical men exert their utmost skill to save the life of everyone to the last moment. There is reason to believe that vaccination has preserved thousands, who from a weak constitution would formerly have succumbed to smallpox. Thus the weak members of civilized societies propagate their kind. No one who has attended to the breeding of domestic animals will doubt that this must be highly injurious to the race of man. It is surprising how soon a want of care, or care wrongly directed, leads to the degeneration of a domestic race. But excepting in the case of man himself, hardly anyone is so ignorant as to allow his worst animals to breed. The aid which we feel impelled to give the helpless is mainly an incidental result of the instinct of sympathy, which was originally acquired as part of the social instincts, but subsequently rendered, in the manner previously indicated, more tender and more widely diffused. Nor could we check our sympathy, even at the urging of hard reason, without deterioration in the noblest part of our nature. The surgeon may harden himself whilst performing an operation, for he knows that he is acting, in, acting for the good of his patient. But if we were intentionally to neglect the weak and helpless, it could only be for a contingent benefit, with an overwhelming present evil. As usual, good and decent people will treat others with respect and kindness no matter what, while evil people will justify their evilness with anything they can hold on to, whether it's a scientific theory or a passage from the Bible.